Okay, there we go. So you guys, <clears throat> let me grab my slides for y'all. Okay, and move you out of the way. Ah, there it is. Can you guys see that being a coach is simple? Perfect. So it truly is simple, you guys. <clears throat> At its root, there are a lot of fears. There's a lot of doubts. There's a lot of hurdles that we have to, you know, overcome and come through. Um, and there's, you know, there, there's the art of inviting and there's all these things that you guys have, have expressed. You know, I love getting to hear what you want to learn about and what you're currently loving about the community. I love hearing that. At its root, this is so simple. We will go over those sorts of things, but nothing will matter if you're number one, not taking care of yourself. Your journey is your job. Now hear me, hear me correctly on this. Your journey is not to be perfect. Your job is not to be a, a supermodel, right? That's not your job. Your journey is your job and your journey is unique to you. As a coach, I've gone through very different seasons in this journey. I've gone through seasons of depression. That was a part of my journey. I've gone through seasons where I tapered off medication and gained a lot of weight. That was a part of my journey, right? I've gone through seasons where I've moved across the country, all a part of my journey, right? So throughout it though, my favorite part of Beachbody and what you probably got to hear tonight as we all went through is we're all coming from different places, different seasons of life. Um, and we all are able to make this business and this um, and, and coaching work. It can go with you. I, if you tell me one person like, oh, I'm a teacher, I can't do this. Or, oh, I'm a nurse, I can't do this. Or, oh, I'm busy, I can't do this. Or, oh, I have kids, I can't do this. Or, oh, you know, I, my kids are in college. I can't. If, give me an example of what you're going through that you can't do this and I will show you a successful coach that can, right? So it, that's the coolest thing. It goes with you everywhere. I love it. The other part is that you want to start sharing now. Oftentimes coaches are like hesitant. Like, you know, when I start gathering more information, then I'll share, then I'll invite, then I'll open up a bod group, right? It doesn't work that way. It's just like in Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come, right? If I wanted people to come to my Starbucks, I'd have to build the building first. And then I would invite people to come to my Starbucks, right? And then I promote it. And then I talk about it. And then I try to get more people to come and market things and whatever, right? And I get better at those things when the time arises. But the first thing you've got to do is just start sharing and start inviting people into this community, right? Because otherwise, if you're waiting for the perfect time, it's just never going to come. Um, your excitement level. We talked about this a little bit last night in terms of like when you're making videos on stories and whatnot. But truthfully, when you're talking to other people, the art of inviting is so much easier when you're actually excited about it. And I know for me, I'm excited about this when I'm fully in, when I have both feet in. So meaning, you know, when I do nine week control freak, if I did nine week control freak, but I didn't really check into the boot camp and I didn't really log any Shakeology and didn't really drink Energize like everybody else was drinking. I would have like eh, results. I'd have one foot in results, right? But when I can take two feet in and I can go all in on my journey, then I'm excited about it. And I, I can't help but share about it and talk about it. Okay. So your excitement truly comes from your level of commitment. Okay. If you don't feel like you're excited about our community, ask yourself, am I around it enough? Like Nicolette was so excited about the community. You guys, she's around it. She's on our morning Zooms. She's there in the challenge group. She's in the comments cheering people on. She's on social media. She's on our team call. She's on Tuesday calls. Like she's in the trenches with us. So I know she's excited about the community and that it's fun for her. But if ever you find yourself not excited or not having fun, you have to come back to are you showing up to the whole thing or do you have a foot out and a foot in, okay? The secret sauce to anything is consistency, time, and a little bit of faith sprinkled on top that it's gonna happen, right? Faith is hope in the unseen. So you have to have a little faith that, yeah, you don't see it yet, but if you keep showing up and keep putting in the work, keep putting in the reps, you will build something greater than your wildest dreams. And I hope that when you watch me, that you don't put me on a pedestal, but you watch me as a possibility, right? Like remove me please from your pedestal and just put me as that's a possibility, okay? Um, and then, like I said, staying connected to your team, okay? 
Um, at, so again, this is like on the journey. This is my mom, <laughs> like getting excited and asking other people to join me for accountability and then staying connected and plugging into as many things as you can. Uh, quickly, mindset is so much of everything. We're actually wrapping up this month's book club and our next book club will be announcing soon, but it's important that you're working on your internal growth as well, because as um, not Kelly's mom, I'm not going to say it as Araya, like Mariah, Araya said, it's not, it's not you, it's them, right? But a lot of times when we face rejection or we feel like, you know, the needle's not moving forward the way we expected it to, we can look back at ourselves. And that's where that internal work is so important. Okay. Um, and so this is the book we're currently reading for book club. I'll announce the next one soon, but some podcasts that I love that are quick to start your day. I love listening to these when I'm taking a shower, but I also will plug these in when I'm on uh, in the car, into my commute, if you guys do that, or if you go out for an afternoon walk, I love putting on a podcast when I go for a, an afternoon walk. And so empower her is a quick one. And this one is, it's hard to see, but it's called be you unapologetically. Those are very like, uh, girl power, pump you up. You got this, you can do it sorts of things. Um, and both of these women have been at some point, very successful coaches in Beachbody. This one, Josh Coates, he has a podcast. It's a little bit longer, um, but it's all about network marketing. So if you're like, I really want to learn more about network marketing, he's a really great listen. And then this one over here, Sean Croxton, Quote of the Day Show. Again, these are quicker ones. So if you're shorter on time, but just want something to pump you up in the morning, this is a really great one. And what he does is he's, he grabs little pieces of, of other speeches and grabs like the good stuff and makes it a really condensed like eight minute podcast. So if you want to hear like, you know, the best part of this YouTube uh, event, he's got it for you. So they're really good. Um, and then this is kind of the last little part I want to get into is how we stay connected and coachable. So most of you know that we have Monday night team trainings and Tuesday chats. You're on a Tuesday chat right now. <laughs> we also have Saturday workouts and book clubs. We have our daily win the morning Zoom room that you can get on and and do your workout or do your morning routine and just kind of be around the fire and see other women who are doing that too. Um, excuse me. And then we have the national wake up calls every Monday. That's Beachbody corporates uh, way to put training into you. They get a top coach to come speak. Um, and there's always announcements and things like that. And this is just literally gold, you guys, because in the national wake up call, you're hearing from other coaches in the network um, who are successful um, who might not do things the way I do things or the way people around you do things. And so it opens your eyes to other ways to work your business. It gives you ideas, fresh ideas, but also when you hear their stories, just like last week, when we got to hear our coaches stories on Wednesday, it's inspiring because you can see where they were and you can see where they got to. And so you can understand a little bit more about that messy middle that they had to actually walk through to get to the shiny stuff that maybe we always see on social media, right? And then the last thing I want to point to is that we have this self-paced coach training, but we're not actually going to do it. I mean, we're going to kind of do it self-paced together, but we're going to get together in March. I had to think what month it was for a second. There. <laughs> we're going to get together in March in a thread and we're going to do coach university together. Okay, which is going to be all of the things that you've you've got to do. So I want to make sure that you know where to find it. If you go to the team page, um, it used to be called units. They actually call them guides now. Uh, G-U-I-D-E-S guides. Um, but you can, if you click on the guides tab in our team page, you'll be able to access New Coach University. And it's literally the first unit right there. So that's where it'll be. Okay. So just a quick recap um, is that we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to commit to a program. Our journey is our job, right? And start really reminding ourselves that growing, evolving, getting down, getting knocked down, getting back up. That's all part of this job. Yeah, um, I never want to paint a shiny fake picture for you. Okay, it does take resilience and you guys have it because you're here. I see it in you every week. Um, start sharing now. Don't wait. Don't be a hoarder of information. Anytime you learn something tonight, you learn something. I want you to go apply it immediately. Right. And even if that is just going on your story, we'll take a little boomerang here at the very end. But even if that's just going on your story, 
and sharing a little bit about why you got on this call tonight and what you're so excited about in your business so that other people can hear that excitement from you, right? Like I said, getting excited, your level of excitement is going to bleed over into the people around you. So if you want people to be excited about your boot camp, you first have to be excited about it too. Consistency and time. So we're all going to commit that it's not just about trying to be successful this week, right? I want over time. Um, and then staying connected. So our homework, all of you guys are about, well, most of you guys are about to finish a program, but I'm gonna challenge you, do you know what's next, right? And I want you to keep being on that journey, okay? And if you've already started and finished a program, make sure that now your next challenge is how do you share it? This business is all about adding bricks, adding layers. So if you've gotten really good at showing up to nine week control freak, the next layer is, can you do the next program and show up on social media while doing it? And then the next layer is, okay, now that you're showing up on social media consistently, now can you add the layer of reaching out to some friends and asking them if they want to join you? And then when you get good at that, then you add on the next layer and then the next layer. And so we're built, constantly building tiers on this rather than just trying to be great at everything all at once. That's not my jam. My jam is small habits stacked on top of each other one at a time. You guys are great at your self-care. Now we stack one more thing, okay? And then your other homework is I want you to join our push pod, our class of 2021 push pod, um, which is gonna be what we use to go through New Coach University together, okay? And I'll make sure I know everyone who was on this call tonight, if you don't, want to be in the push pod, then you can tell me separately on your own. Um, but we'll get all of you guys plugged into the pod and then whoever else couldn't make it on the call tonight too. Um, so that we can all kind of go through new coach university together and have that safe space. Like we had, um, you know, just at the top of this call to be able to say, this is what I'm uncomfortable with. How do I fix that? And, and we're here to help you through that for sure. Okay. Oh, I do not want to end the meeting. <laughs>